That's pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode, we set up this storage scanner from RF Tools Storage, and it is great. However, it did require me to rethink the way that we do our storage here in the base, which is what I've been doing off camera. As you can see, this spot looks a little bit different and all of the item frames of these chests are gone because this part right here is basically going to be our storage for, well, the digital storage. I have basically done a type of color coding, so so all oak chests are chests that we access manually. So these right here, these, that, all chests right there. And then any spruce chest will be accessible from this storage scanner. And I have already set this up. It is a bit tricky because some of them are duplicates, I think because the double chests which makes it a little bit complicated. So as you can see, we got the slabs and the quartz in here. And if I go down to here, it shows up again. So it's a little bit complicated, but when you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. But enough of that. In this episode, I want to reach vault level 50. We are currently at 44.73? Sounds good to me. And you might think that we need to run quite a few vaults in order to get there. But we do actually have three and a half stacks pretty much of vault burgers. I think that'll get us quite far. Oh yeah, and I made a decision. This modular storage right here is going to be solely for vault hunter items, which is why these are now empty and everything that was in these chests, vault hunters related, has been moved in here. And we still got plenty of room left. Now, before we continue and do anything else, I want to rename the statue. Perfect. Nice. And that is because my friend British Weirdo just recently started his own Vault Hunter series. So I thought none of that, he gets a statue. But there's more to it. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon page. And I have decided to make it so when someone supports me with tier 2, they will get their very own Omega statue here in my base. Now with that, I'm obviously going to have to find a nicer place for the statues to be so we actually get to see them more often. I'll figure that out later. But yeah, for anyone who decides to support me at tier two on my Patreon page, we'll get your very own Omega statue as a token of thanks. Hmm, this entire room actually could be made a little bit better. I don't need to have the villagers out all like this, as I can have them in my inventory. Yeah, uh, I'll deal with that later. Ooh, we got a few statues to put in the cauldron. Nice. Oh yeah, I also organized this. It, I like to be organized. 32%. But yes, like I said today, I want to reach vault level 50. All right, this should, this should be pretty easy. Oh wait, old habits die hard. This is very, very nice though. <laughs> This is so nice. Oh, it's sugarcane, not bamboo. And I only have one. <laughs> That's not good. I'm sure my farm will be able to provide for us. At least I hope so. Yes, perfect. And that is the first crystal of the day completed. Now, I have made a realization. I don't think I'm going to be using any catalysts for the time being, because I am very low on vault gems as it is. And I think I will get a lot more out of just running the crystals for now anyway, as random other than putting, well, barely anything on these crystals. It'll be a different later game when I can actually make a huge crystal which are with a bunch of modifiers. But for now, I think I'll benefit more from just running them as random. Ooh, oh, well, okay, we, we are next to uh, yeah, berries shouldn't be an issue. Oh dear, 20 andesite. That's not enough. I'm sure I have more over here. Maybe? No? Hmm, I really don't. Never mind, they're in here. Compressed blocks of andesite. Let us just give them a spot right there. That should be good. 12, perfect. Wait a minute. But yeah, the berries. I forgot the berries already. That should be no problem though. Berries has been sighted. Boop, 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 boop. Done. This is going pretty good so far. Ooh, cobweb. I am not a fan of that. Especially not this recipe. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> you know what? I will wait with making this crystal because I will hope that I get a room where I can actually get some cobwebs from in one of these two crystals. I think that makes sense to do something like that. I do have some shears, so I think I should be good. I, of course, only need to run one crystal at a time. And time to get geared up. And here we 
go. I feel like this is too fast for some reason, but I think we're good. I'm a bit rusty, but hopefully everything will be fine. Easy, hoard, extended, uh, unlucky, oh. But hoard, that is plus two sets of gilded chests and three obelisks required. Well, I'm not gonna bother about the obelisks, but the gilded chest is defi definitely going to be really, really cool to do. That is exactly what I have been needing. Oh dear, okay, this is not off to a good start. Okay, th this is better. I, I'll take this. Oh yeah, and this vault is extended as well. It, it's, it's perfect for running and looting. Yes, 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 this is what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. Give me a lot of these. And I got to remember Vein Miner as well. Very, very handy. <laughs> All right, put that back in, 37, I'm happy with that. Okay, that's a lot of witches, that's a lot of witches. Give me that, and three creepers. That's not okay, that's really not okay. Ooh, that, that's scary. I'm sorry, but that, that's scary, buddy. Why did I go in here? Oh yeah, this is what I was hoping for. Rats for finding this, hope you didn't cheese it. <laughs> uh, I don't think I did. I'm very happy to find this. Very, very happy to find this, in fact. All right, so that is blocked off, but that is it. So that means my portal is right behind that wall. So if I go this way, once the soul, yep, I can do that. But yeah, if I go that way, then take a right, I should be back in the starter room. There's so many chests here. Oh, we got a desert room here. Okay, that's a dangerous one, but definitely worth it. Wow. And I am going to consider this crate full. Don't pressure. Don't step on pressure plates. That's gonna blow. <sighs> okay, that's home. Oh, what's this? A time? Ooh, it better be worth it. Ooh, it might be. It might have been actually. Considering this is a three obelisk uh, vault. I haven't seen many obelisks. Six minutes left, I do wanna speed this up a little bit. Another chest plate, that's like my third chest plate in this vault. Fourth, that's a puzzle room with just five minutes left. Oh dear me, please go away. I don't have time for you. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna see how many I need because if I can complete this, that would be, oh, I think I'm missing one. Yep, miss, missing two green actually, missing two green. Okay, I am just gonna dedicate to trying to find the thing that I need. Uh, if I don't find it, with like a minute and 30 seconds left, I will have to just run back. A yellow one, come on, I need two, two green, please two green. <gasps> That's a green. That's a green, I just need one more green. I mean, I think the greens are the rarest ones. So getting one is probably going to be quite tough. I'll need to get it in like the next two or something. Nope. Well, okay, I, I'm gonna circle back around anyway to the, actually, no, you know what? Um, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I have a bad feeling if I continue, so I am just gonna Eat this, and I'm gonna go back to the main main portal, uh, home portal, I should say. We got a bunch of the blocks, we'll be able to use them in future vaults, hopefully. Oh no, you are not gonna mess with me. Final witch kill, 20 seconds, let's go home. Hoo-wee! That was an amazing vault. I mean, the loot in it was just... great. <laughs> to put it that way. And not only do we have this thing to go through, we also have this. Wow, that's a lot. And we're at level 45 and a half. That's not too bad. I think I'm going to wait with going through all of the loot until we have reached level 50. However, I do want to get these out of my uh, backpack and just do that real quick. So nice that we got these cobwebs. Well, I got one more unfinished crystal, then I'll be bothered to actually get the ink sacks, but I'm wondering if I should run this as a cake. Vault. But I'm also thinking of upgrading my axe. I think I can add vault plates to something to increase the durability. I don't know how many I'll actually be able to add though. But if I do one, that should increase the durability 
a little bit. If I enable advanced tool tips, I should be able to see, yep, durability 400. And two out of 2,350, 452 out of 2,400. So it does help. I think I'm going to do that many just to keep my axe alive a little bit longer. Now to do a cake vault or not to do a cake vault. I'll do it. <laughs> I, I, I can't resist. I love doing cake hunts. Cake hunts are extremely addicting. So here goes. Rich, fast, difficult and slowed. We got 22 cakes and we'll see where this gets us. Oh, I can't, I have kind of forgotten how painful it can be when you can't find the cake and that happens. I am starting to feel like I should have just run a normal, oh, I mean, never mind. So, so far, that's not looking too bad. Where's the staircase? Completely the objective would be very nice. That is the next cake. Oh, I will accept. Difficult. I didn't need extra difficulty. I really didn't need extra dif added difficulty. I need, uh, not fast. The thing that adds speed. Speedy. 18 meters. That could well be anywhere, to be honest. Ah, that is. Oh, speedy. That's exactly what I asked for. <laughs> nice. That is. I think I need like four or three minutes in total in order to be able to make it back home. So that's what I'm gonna go off of. If I were a cake, where would I hide? 21 meters away from here. Ooh, aha. To be honest, that is probably where I would hide if I was a cake. 16 minutes left and we haven't even done half. <laughs> that's not good. Oh, and the village room. Village room can be good, but uh, it could also be in the stronghold. Oh, never mind. That is. Oh, and X marks the spot room. There's a lot of rooms to. Oh, gilded as well. There's a lot of rooms that are, have good potential. If I see that it doesn't look like it's doable, like if I get a room where I'm just sitting there looking and unable to find it, another gilded, I might want to just focus on looting. But we are over halfway though, so I do want to keep going a little bit more to see how far we can actually get. I didn't even have my totem out? Bruh, I didn't even have my totem equipped. That could have been bad. Ooh, and I see a lot of gilded chests. I, I can't resist just taking it real quick. Wait, this room could be the one. Oh, an ore cluster. This is big. This is also big painful. Okay, if I can't take this... And this is going to be very sad. I need all of this stuff. I don't have space in my inventory. Yay for healing. It might be up here or something. 27 minutes. Yep. I think that is my cue to start maybe heading back and just getting as much loot from this as I can. Very unfortunate, but I think I'll get more out of getting the loot. Ah, this room. Dig down. This could be either good or it could be really bad. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and swap these two out. We'll find out shortly. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> Not sure how far away from my portal I am. Getting a little bit nervous. But from this, it looks like I'm quite far away. Never mind. I was close. All right, well, with two minutes remaining, that's actually not too bad. All right, 30 seconds. I do want to maximize those, so I'll leave it like five seconds out. <laughs> really gonna cut it close. 16, 15. Okay, I'll jump out of 10, just to be safe. And boom. Okay, level 46. And some pretty decent loot. I have done something. Actually, I've done three things. One, I have gotten enough ink sacks to complete the next crystal. ka -ching. Two, I went ahead and made a new pixel because the old one did, uh, yeah, it, it's about to break. And three, it's not something that I have done, but it's something that I'm going to do right now. Done. I have set the Vault XP multiplier from two to four. And no, that is not because I'm lazy, it's because I want progression. For us, I feel like it is a little bit too slow the way it was before I already opted 
up to two from from one to two when the command was originally added to the bot pack but now i'm up here to four so we can actually get further ahead and do more progress than well doing the same task over and over again i hope you agree with me let me know down below in the comments if you think i should increase it if you think i should lower it let me know down below but for now i'm gonna leave it at four and so with that it is time to run this New crystal. And again, I'm gonna run it completely random. I'm not gonna make it a cake vault. I'm not gonna do anything like that. We are just gonna run straight into this. I think I'm ready. Let's do this. Extended and frail and it's a scavenger hunt. Hmm. hmm. Wait, is this a dick site? <gasps> it's a dick site. This is a dick site. Ooh, this is a dick site. Dick site. Dick site. I am a happy boy. <laughs> that is amazing. Dick sites as the first room. I mean, I can. I please tell me I. Yes, I do have one. Okay, I am gonna block this off. I think. Well, th this is quite something. Now I don't. Hmm. This is a lot of useless chunk. Not gonna lie, let me uh, sort through this real quick. I think I got a little bit overhyped here. Okay, that is looking better. I think the main thing that I'm gonna take from this is going to be gilded chests if possible. However, there might be good chests, of course. I don't really care how much time I spend in these in this specific room because, well, oh, because, well, great loot. This is. This is amazing loot right here. And I think, yep, my magnet has been broken. I think, yep, this I think is gonna be the final piece of loot that we get here. That's a trap. Oh, nope, that's one more. Okay, that's also a trap. And with that, I think it is time to head up if at all possible that was very much worth it though four minutes spent in there that's not too bad time to loot the rest of this vault and i think level 50 is within our grasp oh yeah and it's a scavenger yeah i don't think i'm gonna worry about the scavenger uh it would need to kill round skeleton mm. well how many cracked pearls do i have i do have 11. i would only need to kill a bunch of so have i seen this room before what does this do? This might be new to me. I've seen this room layout, but I don't think I've seen this in green. Oh, hey, Scal. Hey. Bye. <laughs> oh, boy. That is two gilded chests. Not going to pass up on those. This is actually... Hmm. I'm going to spend a little bit of time here, I think. This, I can't, I can't see what is what and who is who. Zombie hide and zombie ear, that's all I need. I need some skeleton bone shots as well, though. Yes, finally got one. Skeleton, shot, tooth, whatever it is. My axe is really going to take a toll here. And it's not really one that I want to break. Because it has leech. Okay, change of pace. Desert room. Uh-oh. I misclicked. I misclicked. I kind of knew it before it happened. Hmm. Okay. Well, I got one of the items. I also got the zombie hide, so those are complete. I'm just missing... Oh, the drowned eye. I need to find, find drowns. Ooh, that might be an issue. I mean, if I could complete this, it would be a bonus. Oh, dear me. I don't like this situation. I don't like this situation at all. I don't like this situation. I don't like this situation. Alright, got the final one of that. I got almost enough zombie ears. I have enough crack pull. All I need now is the skeleton bone shards and the drowned eye. So I need to find a water room and some skeletons ASAP. And also a return chest. I haven't seen one yet. And there's a return chest and a bunch of lava. Okay, black opal. I will take it. Nice. Okay, what am I missing? Two zombie ears. Hello. Please don't. I should be able to get those here. That's one. Ooh, skeleton. Shot. Fang. Maybe. Yes! I actually got them. And the other ear. Okay, just need one. Skeleton bone shot and some drowned eye. And there's another return. And there's a, there's, that should be drowned here. 
There should actually be rounds here. And if not, the zombies will go in here and they will turn. Yes, this might be the ultimate strategy. Just let them sit there and cook. Oh, well, that's one transformation complete. And that's a die. Oh, no, don't, don't kill you. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Would you transform already? Oh. Okay, first get rid of you. Please have someone have... Yes, and I. I don't care about anyone else. That's that. I can return that. Very, very nice. Literally, all I need now is being able to dash. <laughs> no, all I need now is one skeleton bone shard. I should be able to get that in eight minutes. You're not a skeleton. Go away. Skeleton. <gasps> yes! Yes, okay, I need to go back, I need to go back, I need to go back. Uh, where's the closest uh, uh, thing? I think it's this way, actually. Nope, next room. I'm sure of it. Next room, next room. Three minutes, I'm, I've got plenty of time. Oh, now all the skeletons are spawning. Nope, not here either. Pretty sure it's in here somewhere then. Uh, nope. But in the next room over. Yes, that is. All right, now I'm not just going to put it in. I am going to wait till the last second, I think. Because that, I believe, will give me optimal yield. I'll do it at like one minute or so. Put it in. Did I get it? Yes! Scavenger great. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Please go away. That's not looking too bad. And we're level 49. Guys, I think... I think that with... Oh, look at my axe. It's so low. But I think with maybe just two stacks of vault burgers, we might be able to do this. <laughs> Level 50. With just 48 burgers. I think I underestimated these burgers, actually, to be fair. So now that we are level 50 at last, we now have 8 unspent skill points that I now need to figure out how I want to spend. I think first off I'm going to up Rampage to level 3, which will give me plus 100% extra damage. And I think I might see if I'm able to remove Shaman from this. I'll take a look at that later. But one thing that we did unlock with level 50 are these two specializations for execute. So we got two of them. This one is called precision. Execute will deal scaling damage based on the target's total missing hit points instead of their max hit points. Essentially say a boss has 100 hearts. We get it down to 50. I then activate execute with precision and that then removes the other 50 hearts because it's missing 50 hearts. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Hopefully that makes sense, but that should help us in the fight against bosses quite a bit. Next, we need to go over to talents because I'm now able to up Soul Hunter to level two, which I definitely want to do. The multiplying is going to be plus 50%, so we're going to get more soul shards now. And now I have three unspent skill points left. We have a few things that has unlocked now though, which is this one, Breakable. Passively gives a chance of redirecting incoming damage to the armor's durability instead of the player's health. Any incoming damage redirected is multiplied depending on talent level. I don't want that. I don't have an issue with health or anything like that at the moment. And so I don't want my armor taking more damage than it absolutely has to. We also unlocked thorns. Grants a permanent chance to deal damage to the attacker when being hit. The damage reflected scales with the player's current damage. I don't want this either. I'm not a huge fan of uh, thorns. So that's not something I think I'm going to take. We have also unlocked these two right here. Artisan and Treasure Hunter. Treasure Hunter increases the chance of finding rare loot in vault chests, treasure chests, altar chests and boss crates by applying additional lock level. This right here is something that I really really want. But notice it says cannot be unlocked alongside Artisan. And this one increases the quality of vault gear crafted by the player. The quality of the gear impacts the likelihood of what rarity it will roll. Having at least one level in Artisan allows the player to use fabrication jewels, which can be used together with an identified gear piece in an anvil to attempt to extract a random modifier to an Artisan scroll. That isn't something that I can do right now, but 
it sounds super important for later game. So I'm not actually going to pick any one of these. Let me know if you think I should. And in that case, which one of these you think I should take. Now, I'm not actually able to take one right now because it requires five skill points and I only have three, but that is something to keep in mind. Now, I do have a few other options here. We have Careless, which permanently negates any and all damage calls caused by kinetic energy, which just unlocked as well. I also have the chance of taking Critical Strike. This has been unlocked for a while, but I can take it if I wish. And basically it makes it so I gain a chance to land a critical strike when I'm just hitting a mob normally. Now I don't think I'm going to take any of these. I'm going to go into well fit and I'm gonna upgrade it by one and one more. That way it is now at level four, which has now given us four extra hearts. That's gonna be useful in boss fights. Now I got one unspent skill point left and I'm going to put that into reach. It's just gonna make it easier to loot and build it over world and stuff like that. It's nice to have. But with the skills and whatnot done, it is time to do some looting. And I have done a little bit of organizing. However, I have not looked into the scavenger crate just yet. That is going to be a surprise. I don't know what is actually in there. I hope it's good. So in here, we just have a bunch of like vanilla items like iron, gold, etc. Kind of the boring stuff. And I have found something out. If you take a hopper, and connect it to the storage scanner and place that there, it is actually going to extract the items into the storage. That's neat. So that can empty out while we look at some of the other loot. So this is some of the vault items here, not super interesting. We did get a power bar, which is really good. We also got a bunch of burger pieces and a bunch of apples. But other than that, it's not really super interesting. Moving up, we got the exciting stuff. Through these vaults, we got 16 vault diamonds. We got a stack and four star essence, 20 Wu-Tex shards, four skill essence, a bunch of vault browns, a few countless fragments of vault dust, some vault essence, two vault nuggets, and a stack and one mystery boxes, and a stack and seven relic booster packs. I haven't gotten a relic piece in a while, I feel. I think it's time that we get one. But first, let me put some of this stuff away. We now in total have 35 vault diamonds. I didn't realize that actually. <laughs> but with all of the styrosins, I should be able to just craft eight. Is that all of them? 11 star shards. Nice, we can actually make another double star. I don't think we'll do that today, but we do have the possibility of doing it. Nothing. Are you serious? I haven't gotten a relic piece in so long. Pick rank? Nope. No pig a rank. Bunch of other good stuff though. There we go. So if it does need to go elsewhere, but for now this is fine. All right, in this chest we got a bunch of statues and a bunch of traders as well. So for statues we got dolomite. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort through this. I want vanilla items. Anything else that can go directly into the cauldron. Cauldron. That's a keep. Cauldron. Cauldron and cauldron. 61%. Now nether bricks can go right here. And this one is blackstone. I don't actually have a blackstone chest, but the stone chest will have to do. We also got some traders, mystery box, wizard eye jam, vault pearl, cobalt apple, crystalline burger, vault rock, vault rock. Oh, that's good. Pain night jam, netherite scrap, and mystery box. Okay, not super exciting, but I'll take it. I will most definitely take this though. That's not bad. And we got a few church flask, remove specialization from mega jump, execute and summon eternal. And that reminds me to check if we got one for no, we don't have one for rampage yet. Now next up we got a bunch of different vault or <clears throat> Now next up, we got a bunch of vault ores. Not too bad at all. Pretty happy with this. Got a bunch of the gems and also a bunch of ores. We're starting to fill back up with Larimar and stuff like that. So that is really, really nice. Puffium and another funsoid. Now this right here is the exciting one because we got so much unidentified vault gear. Mm. Ooh, 
one sec there. Uh, nope, that's all the scrap. Moving on to the weapons. I'm really excited for these two swords. I'm hoping for the best here. Uh, nope. No, ooh, leech. Uh, hmm, a soul bomb. That's no. Uh, hmm, leech. I do have this other sword though, which is. Oh, this sword is actually more powerful. And both of them only have one level. This is actually pretty good compared to everything else we got. Time for the chest plates and helmets. Now, before I actually look at all the stats, I am going to compare this to my current chest plate for armor and point two armor toughness and one level. So this is already better actually. Five armor and point four armor toughness. Let's see, uh, six armor. At plus, at plus an hour there. However, no levels. That's a man. This is okay. 0.5 armor toughness. The, these two are very close. One does have more repair slots though. Yeah, some of these are actually really, really good. I'll keep these two on me for now. The rest are going to go to the scrap. Now for the helmet, I'm trying to beat a 5 armor point two. Armor toughness. Yep, that didn't happen. We have a pretty good helmet as it is. Now I am just too curious to let this go unnoticed. Five armor and five armor toughness. Plus two health. Okay, that's definitely an improvement over our current one. I'm not gonna waste a full text crystal on this then because this is already really good. So I'm just gonna take this as it is and keep this as a potential spare. Boots and leggings. These I'm hoping. I'm hoping these are good. Ooh, they're common. Plus three health. Wow. I already have some common leggings here, but the armor is actually... Armor is actually really good. This armor is actually better. But it does have three health. That's hard to beat. And these are not that great. Good thing I have an extra wu tax crystal. Plus three percent parry. Uh, that could have been better. I think I'll take it. Yep. I think we, we just got some new armor. How does this look? <laughs> I got bathing shorts. <laughs> All right, so with that looted, we are left with the surprise. I haven't looked, I, I haven't looked in this thing. I don't know how good it is. We're going to find out together. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay. Let's take a look here. So we got a sword, chest plate, axe, totem, and like rare plus. Oh, wow. Okay, and an unidentified relic. And I and I, don't to, I I have to open this right now. I don't think I have that. I don't that's my one. Dragon set. I don't actually think I have the dragon set. Oh I do, dragon set. So that is the second relic to the dragon set. Nice! That's not too bad. The rest of this can go straight into modular storage. I do however want to open this. I was hoping. Well, I can't complain. I'm gonna save those rare plus for last. Plus five attack damage. Oh boy, that's... But leech though. <laughs> These two are some really good swords. Wow. This axe got haste, but... Uh, well... Yeah, haste... Uh... Yeah, it's pretty good actually. That's not too bad. Common chest plate with two levels, but it doesn't beat this chest plate up here. It's a good spare one though. Now for these rare plus. Three levels and plus six attack damage. I mean, that's not too shabby. We already have a really good totem, so I don't think I'm gonna be use this just yet, but not too bad. Now the leggings look awesome, but are the stats gonna look just as awesome? Oh wow, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. 0.9 armor toughness and 6 armor. It doesn't have a plus 3 health, but it does have 2 levels. And I'm running low on Wu-Tax shards. I don't like... <laughs> I don't like this, but... Ah, not back resistance. That could be better. Cooldown reduction. No. They're good for spares, but... No. I'm not gonna run them, even though they probably, yep, they look sick. And just like that, this is empty. And guys, with that, I'm going to call this an episode. Quite productive, we are now at level 50, 
at long last we got some new vault gear here which i'll need to take a closer look at in between episodes and prepare for i think we'll yeah get an upgrade in the next episode but guys that's gonna be it for this episode really hope you have enjoyed if you did be sure to leave it a like subscribe if you're brand new enable those notifications and i hope to see you in the next episode have a wonderful day and goodbye